Vincent and Jensen each win first round heats, advance to C1 200 meter semifinals. Two Canadian medal hopefuls paddled to first place in their heats in the women's C1 200 meter on Thursday in Paris. Sophia Jensen and Katie Vincent raced to times of 46.8 seconds and 47.22 seconds, respectively, to qualify directly for the semi final round, bypassing the quarterfinals later in the day. Jensen was the first of the Canadians to take to the water. She broke out to grab the lead in her heat within the first 50 meters and held off a late push from Antia Hakame of Spain to win the heat. Jensen, a rising star in Canadian paddling, is competing in her first Olympic Games. She took home bronze in the C1 200-meter event at the Santiago 2023 Pan American Games after finishing sixth at the 2023 ICF World Championships. It feels cool, Jensen said about being in medal contention for the event. I don't think about it like that, I just want to execute the best race I possibly can, and if the results come that it'd be cool. Vincent, meanwhile, is off to the semifinals in both the C1 200-meter and the C2 500-meter in which she will race on Friday in the boat with her partner Sloan McKenzie. We had a lot of positive vibes after C2, so I'm trying to soak that all in, Vincent said. She had finished 8th in the C1 200m final at Tokyo 2020 before going on to win bronze in the C2 500m with then-partner Lawrence Vincent Lapointe after several difficult months during which they weren't even sure they'd be able to compete at the Games. I think overall I just improved a lot, she said. I think we were in a really tough place as a team just off of the water we had a lot of stuff going on. So, coming into this Olympics we had a lot more positive vibes and energy. The two solo canoeists raced to a double podium at the first ICF World Cup of 2024, with Vincent winning gold and Jensen winning silver. They are hoping for a repeat of those events in Paris. The C1 200m semifinals will take place on Saturday, with the first heat racing at 5.40 a.m. Eastern Time, 11.40 a.m. Local. The only other Canadians in action on Thursday were the men's and women's K4 500-meter crews. The men finished fifth in their semi-final while the women were fourth in theirs, both missing out on the finals.